Hello, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We are the Slow Mo Guys, and today we're not in my back garden, where it's nice and bright. We're in my dark, dingy garage where we keep our props. It's unusual for us. <laughs> the reason for that is because we've had a lot of requests to film an iris constricting when it comes into a lot of light very suddenly. You can't do that outside. And we're going to film this on a macro lens at a thousand frames a second. Usually, the macro lenses we've used, they're slightly bulky, and I think I'd actually struggle to get at your eyeball because of your big old eyebrow. My Neanderthal brow. <laughs> and eye socket. So we're using this Lauer macro lens, which is a very odd shape, but if we take the lens cap off, it also has LED lighting. And I think with this, I'll actually be able to get right up against your ball. Oh, my eyeball? Oh yeah. god. As long as you don't poke my eye out with I'll it try by not accidentally to. knocking it or something. The widest aperture on this lens is an f14, which is actually going to make it very dark when we're shooting at 1,000 frames a second. So it's very good that it's got a light on the end of it. Stick it on the camera here. It's actually longer than the camera. Look at the state of that. <laughs> well, like, we could either film your eye or I could give you some sort of medical examination. I think. <laughs> I'd know which one I'd prefer. <laughs> so when set close to infinity, it looks like a, just a normal lens. Except it can go much, much, much closer. Down a bit. Too high. There you go. Down slightly. Perfect. You're right in the middle there. God, even just my breathing is like rocking me all over the place. Don't bash your eyeball. Oh, you can see your, you can feel your eyelashes. <laughs> yeah. Feel relaxed? I mean, honestly, this is going to be one of the easier videos for me technically to do because all I have to do is sit in a chair really still. <laughs> but at the same time, it's not relaxing because I'm going to have a huge lens shoved in my eyeball and a bunch of bright lights turned on immediately. Yeah. Bloody LB. No big movements anymore, okay? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Plug in the lens power. Oh my god, that's bright. The thing is, me, like, my heart beating is moving my eye. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna set the frame rate back to a thousand. And then I'm gonna turn the lights off in here for a bit. Ooh, that is dark. Even though I've got, like, floaties now. <laughs> you got floaties? Yeah. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, I'll move. All right, you ready? Yeah. Three. Two, one. Oh. oh, that was mental. Oh, <laughs> God. I kept my, I've got an absolute donut in my eye now. <laughs> like, all I can see is a huge fat pink and blue donut. Oh. <laughs> Turn the light on. It oh, it's completely blue now. Like, it's just got this blue ring in my vision. Oh, it's really weird. Did I, did I, was it all right? Look at this. I don't think I've ever seen an eye so open that close. Oh, that's minging and weird. The muscles haven't started moving yet. Oh, there they go. Now it's closing. See that? Yeah. God. Look at the moisture around my eyeball. That is... Mental. So the focus has changed slightly. Oh, you decided you've had enough. <laughs> oh, I had enough well quickly. It seemed I, the thing is to me, I was like, ah, for it's gone. Oh, oh, oh gross. Oh, oh it's so <laughs> rank. What is that right there? What is that? Oh, it's so disgusting. <laughs> That's madness. Maybe turn the light. Can, can you do it to the light a little less bright? I could do it less bright and I could have maybe half the frame rate. Hmm. Let's go 500. Yeah, I think that might be a good idea. The thing is, my heartbeat's like moving me. You making me laugh is making me like move a bunch. Oh, this is amazing, B, if you can hold it there. We're on the closest I can be. Three, two, one. Ugh. Bloody good. <sighs> amazing. I think that was really good. <laughs> so you're right. <laughs> Flippin' heck. Right, this is what's happening, okay? First of all, there's like, I can hold it there for ages, for a start. There's immediately like just a flash of just pure brightness. Yeah. And then it slowly turns into a donut. Like the donut is originally like this, and yeah. then it becomes like a donut with a bigger hole in the middle because my eye is constricting and I'm getting less of it in. I can see more detail of the light, if you know what I mean. Ugh. 
Bong. Whoa. That looks so weird. Oh, that's starting to move. So there's actually a small delay. I wonder, we could probably count that delay by the frames. And you see all these craters? Yeah. They're actually really soft and fibrous. Like, when your eye is completely dilated, oh. they change shape. Those holes on the outside of my eye were so much fatter and bigger, and now, now they're, they're like taut. Ovals. Yeah. Isn't that weird? It like drags the entire pattern, and you can actually see the layers. Like, you can very clearly here see what is on top and what is underneath of your iris. That's so weird. And like my iris isn't perfectly circular, see there's like little bits on the outside that are like coming around. Oh it is true. It is crazy to think that every single thing you have ever seen was through that hole. It's the well, the half of it. This is the closest two of them. This is the closest to the window to the soul that you could possibly be. Yeah. You're basically trying to look into my soul here. I reckon I, c I can do this one thing where I like move my iris really like quickly from side to side. Oh, you like shake your eyeball? Yeah, like shake my eyeball slightly. Yeah, like that. Oh, God. <laughs> you went like cross-eyed. <laughs> yeah. I can't do it quite as big as that, but I think because we're so close, you should be able to see a bit of shakage. And when I was filming my eye and I was moving my eye around, mm. I could see the sort of, because the iris is a muscle and there's liquid, it was like jostling. Oh. So I wonder if when your eye vibrates, will it be like, like sloshy almost? Weird. Yeah, we'll find out. All right. That was it? Yeah? Oh, I didn't even know you were doing it. Oh, yeah, I was doing it. <laughs> God, you were there like, get on with me. I'm there like, <laughs> breathing. Oh, I'm like salsa dancing my eye. I had no idea it was that liquidy. Oh my God, do you see that? So those areas of your eye where there's kind of almost like craters. Yeah. They're loose. I didn't know that. They're like, they almost have their own eyelids they when do. you're doing that. Look how the, the fibers are like closing in and like moving about. Do you see that? It looks like just sort of like a fat butt jiggling around. Oh, it's so gelatinous. It is like jelly. It's almost like a weave, like it's all like each one is string. I think it, that's what it is. That's the best way to describe it. Oh, it's look. a good jiggle. See, all, it looks like spaghetti. It looks like overcooked spaghetti moving around. Well, that was some graphic looking footage. Not that I'd be able to tell <laughs> how many it. fingers are well done. One donut. That's about right. Yeah. <laughs> God. I'll tell you what though, I don't think I can ever in the future use iris recognition software because everyone has the perfect image of my eyeball. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> An iris scan does not work. You've got the least secure iris now on the planet. Yeah. And I've already filled my eyes, so we're both toast. Oh. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that video or you were grossed out by it. I feel like either one is a victory for us. Please feel free to subscribe to the Slow Mo Guys and uh, check back in a little <laughs> bit for the next video where hopefully Dan will be able to see you again. Your life's in my hands now. I've got to drive home with you in the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm, what are the donuts? It's another roundabout. <laughs> <laughs>